yesterday because what the hell okay so before i talk about yesterday let me run it back so yesterday school's open we started the second semester but i wasn't here because basically i told my dad about like a month ago when school's open and he forgot and i didn't remind him which meant he sent me money over the weekend and it only reflected yesterday during the day so me being the smart person i am go check flights and then i saw that there's like a flight for fly sfa and when i was trying to book it the website was having problems with connecting with like payment so i went to another website and then booked through bookings.com a flight for quarter to eight and for me it was like because you know quarter to eight is like 1945 so for me it was like okay fine flight leaves at seven that's what i told myself and that's why i usually tell myself like i don't look at the minutes so that i'm there earlier because if i know the exact time then i'll be late so i'm like okay fight leaves at seven and i started getting ready at like three four load shedding hit so i couldn't charge my phone and electricity came back at six at six i was already leaving home going to the airport yeah oh, the uber driver no the uber driver was nice isn't it? but he was literally driving so fast and it's one of those cars you know like when a car you can feel it when you're driving fast on the highway I was basically making sure every 10 minutes to go to my seatbelt is fastened because I was like, Father God, please get me to the airport. And then I get to the airport, I go check in. When I get to checking in there, because like I firstly went to um, this lady and then she was like, she can't find me. I should go to another one that was calling people that are going to the flight that, you know, I was going into. And then I go to the guy and the guy is like, no your flight has not confirmed go to the you know where they buy tickets go there and go check what's happening and then i go there and i have to wait a queue because I think literally there's a queue for everything and then i get there and um the guy is just basically looks at my thing and is like yeah your flight was not confirmed and the flight has left you go book another time and i'm like what the fuck what the actual fuck i'm sorry for swearing but i was like what and then i go there and then the guy tells me, Woody, um, yeah, we never received payment for your flight. I'm like, Zhuang, because money was deducted from my account and I paid. And they're like, which website did you book through? And then I tell him that it's bookings.com. Then he's like, yeah, no, we never received it. And I'm like, what the? F so now I have to buy another ticket. The other ticket was 1,000 and something rand. And for the one that I'd paid before, I had paid like 700 and something. So I'm like, okay, fine, let me buy another ticket. But then the guy's like, okay, online, it's 930. And then I buy, I try buying it online again. And it's not going through. And the time is going. So I end up being like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to buy for 1000 and something. Because at this point, I need to go back to school. And nothing is happening. Their website is tripping. So I buy the 1000 and something ticket. And then I go check in. And then I when i am in the flat my budget is literally five percent because i couldn't charge it before i left home and it was literally five percent i'm like okay i just need this budget to take a few videos because i'm recording and just to get me to campus like literally that is all i want to get me to campus and then i go there and both bolt and uber were literally giving me problems no one was accepting like yo <laughs> and we were all complaining about the same thing like drivers are too busy can't find drivers no 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 and then my phone switched off so now the next best thing was to try and find someone that is also going to uwc 
so that I can ride with them and then we can split the ride and literally that is what helped me get to campus because there were two other people that were coming to UWC and then I went in the Uber with them and then we split the thing the ride for 50 50 50 which helped me save money I won't lie but it's like when I got here there was no shedding so I couldn't really get into the room because my roommate was also not here and there was no shedding and I had to wait for electricity to come back especially because I didn't want to go knocking on people's doors at 12 midnight so I had to wait for electricity to come back and then I wait for electricity to come back and then I went to go activate my car so that I can enter the room sorry I enter the room and mind you I just came back I have no throw I have no towel I have nothing blanket nothing to sleep on and I have no food the last time I ate was before I left home so I was hungry and then I contacted my friend that stays here on campus and I was like yo I need your help please help me and luckily she was cooking so she was like okay no pull through I'm cooking and then she helped me with her blanket and you see basically those blankets there behind those clothes she helped me with that and she was like it'll get you through the night and I was like yeah it'll get me through the night and then when I wake up my body is literally so tired because I couldn't sleep I wasn't tired I couldn't I think I slept at like 3 a.m or past 3 a.m so it was just like when I had to wake up my body wasn't waking up I don't know how I almost didn't go to campus which speaking of it I really need to go class is about to start and I'm not even sure of the venue because it's a new semester but basically we have the same timetable as last time just different modules but i'm not sure if the venue is the same as last semesters or there's a different venue this semester it's just guningi and it keeps getting guningi because tell me why isn't that so that last night i activated my card for the room i come in today when i was going to the bathroom this morning when i was getting ready to go to class when i come back my student card is not working anymore so now i have to go sign in and go reactivate it before coming back i have to rush to class when i come back from class i have to go to the bank to go reverse that 700 something that didn't reflect for the flight and then i need to do groceries i need to get my things from storage i need to do a lot and especially because i still need to buy stationery as well because i do not have stationery for the semester like i have something like i have i have books for going to class and i have some pens but i want to buy like proper semester stationery so yeah thank you for listening if you skipped it's fine actually i understand but let's go to class because it is getting late and this painting is not gonna help me get done time so yeah literally this is how messy the room is and i have to leave because class has already started and i'm hungry because i haven't had anything to eat the whole day but yeah when i come back i can't even clean it up because i will need to go to the mall so i will sort it out to corner and we will sort it out together but this semester is not starting good for me like it's really not and i have to run like this semester is really not starting good for me but i'm hoping it's gonna get better with the time Hi guys, I didn't know that I am hungry. I just came back from campus. So apparently there's a career expo that I didn't know about. I'm sure you guys saw the video. But I didn't stay because one, at least it's general, not like specific to my faculty. And two, I wasn't ready for it, so I didn't want to go there looking like a fool. But yeah, let's go. Let's go to the mall to go try and progress this whole thing. I'm gonna carry this bag because I like it because it has more storage. So yeah, I just took everything that is inside here and put it in the bed. So the room is more of a mess than it was before. The time is currently, I think it's half past 11 or 2, 12. Yeah, I think it's half past 11. 
so let's go to the mall the first thing i want to do is um go to the bank and reverse and then we can do stationary shopping and do some groceries but i don't know how to do like groceries yet because i don't know what i have and what i don't like i think i'm gonna do like a few like fridge and fruit and veggies but i'm not gonna do anything too hectic because i don't know what i have and i don't know what i don't and i'll only know once i get my things from storage but i need to go sort out this bank thing before it's too late so i'm gonna get my things from storage when i get back let's go One, I'm sorry for the lighting and two, I'm not sure if you guys can hear me but there is a lot going on. I didn't get the refund from the bank and then they said I should contact the website and I'm basically trying to sort it out with them. But yeah, right now I'm eating and then after this we're gonna go do groceries and stationery shopping. And I'm also gonna go do hygiene shopping but then that's another video of its own so I'm not gonna put it here. Make sure to watch that video because it will be out before this one. And yeah, I'll link it down below. Yeah, see you guys when I'm done eating because I don't like recording myself when I eat. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Sleeping on your level cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Yeah. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying. So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Cause all the pain you brought you still linger in your mind. Cause pain still lingers on mine. On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find. The good news is, nigga, you came a long way. The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way. The green is better. Life that's better than yours. No such thing as life that's better than yours. Think being broke is better. Life that's better than yours. For what's money without happiness? Or hard times without the people you love? Though I'm not sure what's about to happen next. I ask for strength from the Lord of the book. Cause I've been strong so far, but I can feel my grip loosening. Quick, do something before you lose it for good. Get it back and use it for good. And touch the people how you did like before. I'm tired of living with demons cause they always inviting more. Think being broke was better. Now I don't mean that phrase with no disrespect. To all my niggas out there living in debt. 
cash and minimal checks. Turn on the TV, see a nigga Rolex, and fantasize about a life with no stress. I mean, it's just sincerely. And as a nigga who was once in your shoes, living with nothing to lose, I hope one day you hear me. Always gonna be a bigger house somewhere, but nigga, feel me. Long as the people win that motherfucker, love you dearly. Always gonna be a whip that's better than the one you got. Always gonna be some clothes that's fresher than the ones you rock. Always gonna be a bitch that's better out there on the tour. But you ain't never gonna be happy till you love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. So I've got almost everything. The only thing that's left is my fridge. And because my fridge is big, I'm gonna wait for my friends to finish class. But you see this bag? I feel like something is missing from here. I do not know what yet, because I haven't started unpacking. But I feel like something is missing from here, because why is it so loose here? Why? Hey, my spider senses are up. Heartbeat the feds, let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass, let a nigga know that he arrived. I just wanted to end the video and I am sorry this video might be a bit late because currently making this video it's quarter past two and planning on uploading at three but I still need to like save it but yeah I just needed to say end the video the semester has finally began like literally it's the semester semester thing I've already got an assignment a boy basically a group project I already wrote my first quiz I already need I have already have a lot of studying to do so yeah, and please don't mind my head. I'm just here to end this video. <laughs> Literally, I'm just here to end this video. Um, if you watch until this end, thank you. Um, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you watch until here, please comment down below a strawberry emoji so that I know that you watch till the end. But otherwise, I'm out. <laughs>